All right. You know, I always like to start with something interesting. And did you know that you can go onto Google right now and you can tune your guitar, right? This is a little fun fact. You just type in Google Tuner and right at the top of the results page, it's pretty slick. But this one's even better. Like, let's say you ever have a song stuck in your head. Has that ever happened to you? Oh, yeah. Okay. All the time. And then you're like, what the heck is that song? Well, what you can do is open the Google app or find your Google search and then tap the mic icon and say, what is this song? And then you can start humming 10 to 15 seconds. Oh. And Google will come back and say, hey, that's really the song. And I tried it even with my bad singing. It actually knew what song it was, <laughs> because after all, the urge to sing The Lion Sleeps Tonight is always a, a whim away, a whim away, <laughs> a whim away. OK, I know that was really bad. Hey, thanks for joining us for Kim Commando today. Every Friday, perfect for your weekend. We like to have some fun and let you meet and know the other folks that are all part of the whole Kim Commando show team, because like me, they're tech wizards. And let me tell you, they're really fun people, too. And first up, we have our amazing content queen, Ali Selgeman. What pearls are you going to be sharing with all of us today? If you are sending cards or gifts in the mail this year for the holidays, I'm going to tell you how not to send them if you want to make sure they get where they need Ooh, to go. Yes. And my best holiday photo tips so you look better in pictures. Which is always important because you never want to just look at the camera and go, smile, and everybody smiles. It's, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's so strange because when we were out traveling around, and especially like this past weekend I was in L.A., and you actually see people posing, right? I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's not like just stand there. So it's like, okay, well, can you move to the right a little bit and then tilt your neck up? Okay, yeah. so this way we don't see that, you know, triple chin. All right, so we have our magnificent millennial and our very own Internet Scout, Matthew Heffel. What's going on that you think is so great? that everybody needs to know about. We need to talk about Taylor Swift and how she broke the internet this week, as <laughs> oh well as gosh. some Windows tricks that I personally wish I knew sooner. Oh. Yeah. I'll tell you, you still, you know, that recording screen tip that you gave? Amazing. People are still talking about it. <laughs> no. That. I know. It's crazy. All right, let's start with the news, some important tech developments to keep you in the know. And I don't know if you noticed, but... Elon Musk has paid $44 billion for Twitter. Has anybody noticed that? No, I have no idea. Yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> so as it turns out, Twitter is losing about $4 million a day or some crazy number like that. So Elon Musk says, okay, we need to figure out how to make money here. We need to figure out how to make money. So, of course, he lays off half the staff. And then he gets rid of all of the free, not just lunches. You know, they were getting free breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Really? Mm, wow. Yes. Okay. Wow. Three meals a day. Got rid of that. That was $13 million a year. And then he came up with this great idea that let's have people pay $8 a month for the blue check mark. Okay. Could go wrong. And yeah. yes, exactly. <laughs> but not only do you get the blue check mark, you get to, oh my gosh, I can't wait for this. You get to edit your tweets. Woo. <laughs> okay which is something I guess um, we want. I'm not sure. So this whole blue check mark thing did not roll out the way that he anticipated. Like, for example, defense contractor Lockheed Martin, they saw that its shares go down about 6% after a fake company, a fake account of that company with the blue verified check mark tweeted that it would, quote, stop weapons sales to Saudi Arabia, Israel, and the U.S., pending investigations into records of human rights violations in these countries. Okay. Whoops. Uh, oil giant BP, another <laughs> verified account, tweeted out, just because we killed the planet doesn't mean we don't miss it. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a good one. Nestle, I love this one. Again, blue check mark, verified account. This is from Nestle. We steal your water and then sell it back to you, LOL. <laughs> the LOL is what makes yeah, it. <laughs> exactly. Okay, but Eli Lilly and company, they had it really bad because they had, again, a verified account, of course, which was impersonators. Uh, they tweeted out that from now on, all insulin would be free. Okay. Uh, Lilly has increased the price of insulin about 12% since the mid-90s, and their shares dropped 4.37% on that tweet, they lost $15 billion. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, by the way, uh, the average price for a vial of insulin is $12 in Canada, and it's over $100 here in the United States. Wow. Okay. So the blue check marks, Elon Musk says, okay, well, this isn't exactly going the way that we wanted it to go. Whoops. So we're going to pull back on the blue check marks, and then we're going to roll them out. In a few more weeks, 
as a better way so that the trolls can't take it over so we can figure out how to get verified. So I started thinking about this. Maybe Elon Musk needs to start a new company called Elon Musk. I mean, that would be something. (laughs) All right. Okay. I tried. I tried. I tried. Okay. So Matt, save us, save us and shake it off with Taylor Swift. What's going on? All right. Every once in a while, something happens that people claim quote breaks the internet, right? We've seen this happen throughout the last couple of decades. Well, this week she literally broke the internet. Now, before we get into exactly what happened, we got to get into exactly who Taylor Swift is. So Obviously, she's a pop singer, uh, used to be a country singer, has been singing music since 2004 when she was 15 years old. Now she's only 32. She's been doing it for 17 years. Wow. Which is pretty incredible. She's worth over $450 million, and she's been putting out albums for a a long time. Now, this past week, she released a, or a couple weeks ago, she released her newest album called Midnight. Now, when this album released, it smashed a ton of records. Now, it was the first album ever to have all 10 of the top 10 of the Billboard Top 10 songs, right? She had every wow. single oh my gosh. one of them. She was the first one to ever do that. She's also the first female artist um, to have all of her albums reach number one on the top of the Billboard as well. Uh, she tied Barbara Streisand for that record. Can you believe that? <laughs> and finally, she, when the album was released... Every single streaming service, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, her album was the number one. That was the first time that's ever happened as well, wow. right? Amazing. Mm-hmm. Well, it didn't quite end there because this week she, she released her pre-sale tickets for her tour. And as soon as she did that, that morning, Ticketmaster crashed immediately. They released a statement saying, we're seeing unforeseen uh, <laughs> levels of uh, traffic and it just went down. Now, I went searching through tweets to see all the people that were complaining about it. There was one woman who said she was waiting for six hours before it crashed. And she oh. got so upset that she threw her phone and it fell into the pool. And so she <laughs> lost her phone. Oh <laughs> but this was happening all over Twitter. People complaining about it, complaining about it. Taylor Swift actually didn't tweet anything or say anything about it. So we'll have to see if she actually cocks up on the whole thing. But you know what? She is a phenomenon. She I, is amazing. She is, I mean, she produces and she writes all of her own songs. Although, you know, there is the old joke that, you know, every ex is part of a hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you never want to date her because it's going to end bad. And then there's going to be a song written about you forever. Well, one of the reasons that she became so popular is because she has shared so many of these private stories with people. She's talked about, you know, yes, you said relationships, but she's also talked about mental health issues that she's gone through in the past. And that has made people, you know, flock to her and see her as part of themselves. So she's really grown in popularity that way as well. And she had a weight issue, too. Yeah, I mean, she did. She's, she said, I think she said she was like on the borderline anorexic, mm-hmm. you know. So, you know, with, with all the success at the bottom line, you know, you have a 15 year old girl right right, who started and now is a 32 year old woman with this phenomenal success well can you imagine waking up in the morning one morning and someone comes up to you and says hey uh your tickets went on sale and you broke Ticketmaster." (laughs) (laughs) i mean think of all the other artists that are touring right now i know elton john just passed through phoenix he's huge pink is on tour kendrick lamar is on tour as well none of them broke the internet but as soon as she puts her tickets (laughs) out boom Breaks it. Well, you know, the other phone is Yellowstone. I don't know. Have Oof. you guys watched Yellowstone? I have not. I keep meaning to. I haven't either. Oh, okay. You have to watch Yellowstone. It is so good. It's such a great show. And of course, the fifth season just came out, which means you have both have like a long way to catch yeah. up. Yeah, okay. we do. So, um, so when, when it, the fifth season, episode one dropped, Paramount Plus crashed. Because <laughs> so many people wanted to watch it. Okay. But here's the funny part. Yellowstone didn't drop on Paramount Plus. It dropped on the Paramount Network. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh man. <laughs> so all these people go to Paramount Plus saying, Where's Kevin Costner, the Dutton family, the, <laughs> the largest ranch in Montana? What's going on? And Beth, I want to see what she's up to. Um, no, wrong mm. network. <laughs> Oops. Sorry about that. All right. So, uh, Allie, holiday shipping. Are you bad news, Allie, again? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take us out of that fun Taylor Swift and yes, Bad News Alley. It's not malware this time. It's not apps to delete. It's actually about the mail of all things. Okay. All the gifts and cards and things you're sending in the mail, maybe money. Don't do that. Don't send cash in the mail. The U.S. Postal Service just put out a warning and said, don't use those blue public mailboxes. You know, the ones that are outside of the post office. They're also on street corners, many street corners yes. here in Phoenix. Yeah. If you live in a big city. 
because they say that criminals are conducting kind of a theft ring on these boxes all across the country. I went looking, by the way, it's not just Christmas time. Uh, Earlier this year, the president for the Postal Police Officers Association, I did not know that was a thing, (laughs) but he said postal crime has spiraled out of control. So this is your reminder. Again, don't put cash in the mail. If you do, consider it gone if anybody gets their hands on it. And instead of those blue boxes, they recommend either hand your mail to your postal carrier or go inside the post office. If you do have to use one of the collection boxes, check when it gets picked up. The worst thing you can do is drop it off when it's going to sit there all weekend. Uh, You don't want to drop off, you know, Friday night or before a federal holiday. So try to do that as close as you can to the pickup time. And while we're talking about sending stuff, we should talk about sending stuff back. Um, Kim, we were talking you had a heck of a time trying to return something to Amazon. Yes, mm. I did. Yeah. So here's what, what happens. happens. Is that when I want to buy clothes online, I buy two sizes. Okay. So I bought these really nice jeans, AG jeans, and they were on Amazon. And so I couldn't decide if I should wear a 27 or a 28. So I buy both. Both come, and I really don't like either pair. Oh, no. Okay. So then I go on to Amazon because I want to return them. And these are expensive jeans. They're probably like a 100 and some odd dollars for a pair of jeans. And so I take them to the UPS store with the, and, and I didn't have to put it in a box, mm. by the way. So just, just print out the label, bring it to a UPS store, and then they'll credit you. And so when I do that, the gal on the counter says to me, wow, these are really great jeans. And I said, yeah, they are. I said, you know, I, I own a few pairs, but I just I just didn't like the cut. They're a little too low for me right now. And uh, she's like, oh, they're just great jeans. So I drive away. And sure enough, I get uh, an alert from Amazon that they had returned the jeans. One pair of jeans. Hmm. Oh. Did this woman look like a 27 or a 20? <laughs> I think they were about the same size. Oh, no. You know, probably like a four or six in uh, women's clothes. I mean, yeah. I, and so uh, it took me, I had a heck of a time saying, you know what? No, I took these two because what happens is I'm always in a hurry. I'm in a hurry with everything in my life. So I'm just like, here, okay, they, you want a receipt? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So now my rules are put it in a box, even mm. though they say you don't need a box. Put the little label on the outside. Do not tell them what's on the inside. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And uh, just, and ask for that receipt. Yeah. So that this way you have proof that you actually gave it back to them. That's really smart. I, I like that too, that you can just take it. You don't have to put it in a box, but especially if it's something nice, you should. Um, I'm in the habit of when I open my Amazon packages, I just take everything out to the recycling can and throw it away. But I kept a couple of those plastic bags that they send that you can reseal. So just in case I ever need to make a return. Uh, If you buy on Amazon, you can also return to Kohl's or Whole Foods. I like Whole Foods because they scan it and give you your refund right then. Because Whole Foods, Amazon owns Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. So again, if it's something pricey, box it up yourself. Wait for that receipt (laughs) to make sure that it got to the right place. And don't put any of your holiday cards or gifts in those blue mailboxes. Oh, man. You know, it's like, why can't we have nice things? It's nothing right? sacred. <laughs> okay. Exactly. <sighs> now, let me ask you a question. Do you know your mail person? I do. Yeah. No. Here's you the don't? funny thing. I talked to mine. I could not tell you his name, but he's a very nice man. Okay. I talked to mine. Her name's Ellen. She's <laughs> very nice. As a matter of fact, um, I was walking down the street and I said, Ellen, how are you? She's like, fine. And I, I talked about you on the air the other day. And she's like, you what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ellen. You know, she, you know, she's, she is. Ellen, if you're listening, you are the best male person in the entire universe. All right. Uh, coming up, we have some tips about EVs versus gas cars. How to look your very best in holiday photos. Because you're going to be taking a lot of those. She might as well know now. How to figure out your good side. Uh, Then, of course, we have some Windows tips, some early Black Friday deals. I have a what the heck headline year of the week. You're just not going to believe. We have a joke at the end. Oh, my gosh. This is the Friday edition of Kim Commando today. Call Tech Refresh. Just stay right where you are. Since our founding in 2000, we at the Center for Internet Security have always had one mission. It's to create confidence in the connected world for people, businesses, and governments. As a nonprofit, we do this by drawing upon our core competencies of collaboration and innovation. The world is changing, cyber threats are evolving, and IT resources are limited. 
All you want is a way to strengthen your cybersecurity programs efficiently and effectively. Let CIS help you with these efforts. We use a consensus-based process involving IT professionals from around the world to develop and maintain security best practices. These resources are proven to defend systems and data against threats, both on-premises and in the cloud. We also strive to help organizations of every size and maturity strengthen their cybersecurity programs. This includes serving U.S. state, local, tribal, and territorial government organizations. At CIS, we're all about making the connected world a safer place. Visit our website to learn more. Hey, welcome back to Tech Refresh. As I like to say, it's your weekly fun podcast about all things digital. It's part of the Kim Commando Today podcast. So every Friday, we kind of mix things up a little bit. So this way you kind of jump into the weekend with a big old smile on your face. And if that smile on your face is a frowny face because, well, something's not working. Your Windows PC, your Mac, your phone, your Wi-Fi, your printer, your smart speaker, your 5.1 surround sound, whatever it is, that's where you want to go to getkimshelp.com. Once again, that's getkimshelp.com. That's where these are tech experts that you can trust because absolutely the worst thing you can do is just Google search online tech support because you will get scammed. That's the bottom line. So you only want to go to getkimshelp.com. Most problems are solved in 10 minutes or less. And let me tell you, if they don't fix your problem, you don't have to pay. Once again, that address is getkimshelp.com. All right. So this is part of the show where we like to share some insider secrets. And this is a question that comes up a lot. You know, on a cost per mile basis, by the time you pay for electricity, is an electric car really cheaper to drive than a gas powered car? Ali, you have a hybrid, right? I do, yeah. And so do you think it's saving you money? I do. I like to think it is. I barely ever get gas. Mine goes 23 miles with uh, just on the charge. Hmm. And, you know, for most just little trips, that's fine. I don't... Now, do you have a Kia? I do, yeah. And what's the year? 2018. Okay. You are prime. I know. For No, for this, those carjacking things. Have you I seen know. them? Oh, yeah. yeah. The flipper roos? Yep. Oh, my gosh. Ian was showing me one. Now, he doesn't have one because you can't buy one anymore. But it's like this $500 device, and you just point it at a television in the airport and turns off the TV. Uh, you can point it at um, a car, a Kia, mm-hmm. and, and it will start the car. Ooh. You can turn on computers on and off with this thing, and it's selling for like $500, or it was selling for $500. Right, yeah. Okay. But now it's been banned. But Stock X is now carrying it for like, he was showing me like $1,500, mm. oh but gosh. it's like a flip a You just, I don't know how it does it, but it just flips everything on and off. Well, I'll uh, see if there's anything I can do about this. <laughs> so I don't get carjacked. See if there's an update. <laughs> um, but anyway, back to EVs. To come up with how much it costs to drive an electric vehicle, you have to do a lot of math. Okay. I'm talking about like big time math. You have to figure out how much gas costs per gallon near you. And then you have to know how much you pay per kilowatt for electricity. And then also you have to uh, factor in, are you using your home charger uh, or are you using a fast charger? So you have all these different variables. Now, fortunately, this is us. We don't want to make you do the math. (laughs) So you have to go to a website called chooseev.com. Once again, that's chooseev.com. You just plug in the price of gas and kilowatt hour, then make a model of your car, and then the site does the rest. And generally speaking, an EV is cheaper than a gas-powered car, except when you start using those fast public charging stations, like, for example, in the shopping centers or along the highways or anything Mm -hmm. like that. Uh, Once again, the website is chooseev.com. And I will tell you, uh, this is the last time I'm driving my Tesla. (gasps) Yes. Really? Yes. Hmm. Getting rid of it? Uh, Yes. This afternoon, it goes to a brand new owner. Oh, my gosh. And I'm very excited to get rid of it. (laughs) Um, And I will tell you, this is really, now, this is something... Um, I, I really can't believe this. So when I bought the Tesla Plaid mm-hmm. in June, I ordered, I actually ordered the autopilot. Yeah. And at that time it was $12,000. Okay. Now it's $15,000. So here I'm thinking I'm giving this guy a great deal. Yeah. Okay. Because, you know, you just saved $3,000 by the autopilot. And then he sends me a blurb off the Tesla website. <gasps> I see where this is going. Mm-hmm. Brand new policy. You sell the Tesla, the autopilot does not go with the car. That's awful. That's terrible. Isn't that the biggest pile of BS 
you've heard in a long time. That's almost as bad as buying an $8 verified account. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, I mean, but why wouldn't the autopilot go with the car, even though you have a new owner? Uh, because they want another $15,000. You know what? That's okay, awful. Then. Buying Tesla, I've made a few mistakes in my life. Okay. One was hiring the contractor that I have now to build a house. Oh. Uh, two is um, buying a Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got some oh. good fart pranks out of it though, so it must have been worth it. Okay, I don't think the fart pranks were worth no. it, but you know, what a bummer. Yeah, I was really, oh, I was man. really ticked off about that. Yeah. All right, so moving on, Matt, some Windows tricks and tips and things like that. Yeah, you know, I spend a lot of time on my computer, especially building on the newsletters for the Commando website, right? And so I've been using these two new tricks that I found out, and I honestly wish I knew them sooner. So the first <laughs> one is if you're ever copying and pasting a lot. It can be really monotonous, right? You're copying, going to the new doc, pasting, back and forth, back and forth, takes forever. Well, you can actually access your copy clipboard and do it all at once. So you can copy an image, a single paragraph, and a title all at once, then go to your new document, and if you press the Windows key and the V key, it'll bring up your paste clipboard that'll have everything you copied over the last 24 hours or so, and it'll have all those things right there. So you can paste them into a document in any order you like. So that's con- oh. the Windows key and the V key. And it'll bring up that clipboard right away for you. It's changed how I do my job. It's amazing. Yeah, but I, just, I just got a sad face. Why? Because I don't think we have that on Mac. No, we. Do. I don't think there's copy and paste history. Oh, these oh. are only Windows tips. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry there's about no that. Sorry, reporter either. Mm. <gasps> Now, the second one is really super cool. It's not as necessarily handy, but I like it all the same. It's really cool. There's a hidden keyboard on your Windows that you might not know about. If you press the Windows key and the period key, a little box comes up that has all these crazy symbols. So it has emojis. It has like umlauts for accents and like the scent symbol and strange symbols that you never use. But... The cool thing is that it actually has the old form of all the emojis. Aww. So like semicolon, right parentheses, and all those kinds of stuff. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Going up Cute. to super complicated ones, like uh, a whole bunch of symbols that make it look like balloons and stuff like that. So if you want to <laughs> try remember, these out. I remember the rose. Do you remember the rose? Yeah. Exactly. The sign? Yes. Yeah. It's on there. If you just press the Windows key and the period key, you can see all these old emojis. How cute. It's awesome. But not on a Mac. Not Aww. on a Mac. Oh. <laughs> Maybe next week, Matt. You can have some Mac secrets for Kim. Hey, maybe I yes. can do that. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, those are great, Matt. Okay, so Allie, you're going to make us look our very best in all these holiday photos. Oh, yeah, right. It's the time of year we all get roped into pictures, or maybe you're the person roping everyone into pictures, but we all want to look good, and we want to get good photos. So a couple tips. First, if you're not using burst mode, get it together. You really should. So on most uh, smartphone cameras, you just hold down on the shutter button. And instead of taking one picture where inevitably someone has their eyes closed, it will take a ton of pictures all really quickly. So you should probably have at least one winner in the bunch as opposed to, okay, wait, smile, Mm -hmm. open your eyes, smile. All right. Next up, I really think that everyone should invest in a little tabletop tripod, especially if you're going to take group photos. These things are cheap. Uh, You can get them on Amazon. The Amazon Basics one is like $10. Um, And that paired with the timer function on your smartphone camera means that you don't have to make someone stand out of the picture and take it. Uh, You don't have to rely on somebody who maybe isn't very good at taking pictures. Mm -hmm. You can just use this tripod and that's much easier. It's always like you have to set up your phone on like books and like get it all perfectly (laughs) set up. And then it slides. Yeah, yeah. Dang it. Yeah. No. So this way it'll stay put. You don't have to worry about that. Uh, Most of those little tabletop tripods too, they're really grippy on the ends. So it won't go anywhere. It won't Mm -hmm. move. You can set it on whatever you want. Okay. And then of course we all want to look good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. My biggest tip, if you are taking a picture, especially if it's a full body picture, don't stand perfectly facing the camera straight because you are going to look your whitest. (laughs) And we all want (laughs) to look a little slimmer in pictures, right? So angle your body a little bit to the side. Mm. And just like that, you're going to look better. It doesn't take much. Um, Do the same. (laughs) You know, it's always nice if it's just pictures of your face. You're going to want the camera a little bit higher. So like we talked about earlier, you want to hide that double chin. And all that you can have the light coming into your face. It'll make your eyes sparkle. It'll make your face look better. And you won't be all shadowy. Yeah, never 
ever stand below a light. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Right on if top of If you want to look head. like a murderer. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Go or for what, it. What was that? Remember the Blair Witch Project? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Moving all around. <laughs> Those are some great tips. And if you love these great short tips, make sure that you subscribe and follow to our Daily Tech Update podcast. Wherever you get your podcast, just search for Commando with a K, of course. And then make sure you just hit that big old button for Daily Tech Updates. All right, coming up, we have news about Steve Jobs' sandals. That's right. Uh, Some Black Friday deals on Amazon you don't want to miss. And then also, I've got a story about hooker ghosts. Yes, I said hooker ghost. That's right. Uh, We have that and a lot more coming up. A joke at the end here on Tech Refresh, your Friday edition of the Kim Commando Today podcast. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't. And that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Rocketmoney.com slash Kim. All right, the secret word is... The secret word is, what am I, why am I talking about a secret word? (laughs) The secret word is if you would like to win a $100 Amazon gift card, you need to know the secret word. The secret word is robotics, okay, robotics. And you have to spell it correctly. I've been looking at the entries and some people don't know how to spell robotics. So if you're not sure, you're going to be thrown out automatically. And it's R-O-B, Allie, O-T. O-T-I. And then Mad. C S C S. Yes, yes, robotics. Yeah. We got there at the end. Robotics. That's a run. So go to commando.com slash win and enter in your secret word. And then there's some other ways that you can get more entries by subscribing to podcasts, getting a newsletter or two. And again, that address is commando.com slash win. Do it now while you're thinking about it. All right. So here's the what the heck headline that I found. Texas homeowner says hooker ghosts have taken over her rental property. <laughs> They're Happen. just trying to stir up business. <laughs> Happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. uh, Linda Hill, she owns the Hill House Manor in Texas. And she said she was taking a shower when somebody said, hey, Linda, you're looking good. <laughs> what? She said, I thought it was my husband. I mean, you know, we're the only ones in the house. But she said she started speaking to him and it was a ghost. And he told me that I was looking good. And I said, thank you. And I asked him what he had been doing all day as a ghost. And we had a conversation. And then he just left. She said there are all kinds of ghosts in her house. They have kids. We have old people, old guys. And yes, we have hookers. She says they're the most common type of ghost that comes around their house. Uh, Male renters in particular said they have felt somebody stroking their face, their arm, touching them. (laughs) The rest e. of them. Yeah. Wow. Uh, their shoulders, of sure. course. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Linda says they're just trying to stir up business, um, but they can't figure out a way to conclude the transaction. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing ever happens. <laughs> this is like somebody who really thinks. This is wow. So the hooker goes. So I guess they... I mean, how do they get paid? What, I was just going to say, what do you... How do you pay a hooker ghost? Yeah. What do they want? <sighs> Uh, Boo berries. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was a good one, Matt. Yeah. Incredible. You know, where's the best place in the house to hide from the ghost? Anybody? The living room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Matt, I talked about this on the Kim Commando show. Uh, Steve Jobs. I know people love their Birkenstocks. I think they are the ugliest <laughs> shoes mm-hmm. I've ever seen in my entire life. Worse than Crocs. They are worse than Crocs. They are worse. I agree wow. with this statement. But people buy crazy things online all the time. You know, we, we've seen people buy, you know, 
uh, the cheese its that are fused together or, you know, um, Jesus a, on a toast. Ge- I was just going to say <laughs> Jesus on a toast. Right. But recently at the Julian's auction house, they sold a pair of Steve Jobs Birkenstocks. Now, they originally expect to fetch around 60000 to 80000 Well, they got $218,000. That's ridiculous. For a pair of used Birkenstocks. Now, when I say used, I don't just mean like, oh, he put them on and then put them in his closet and never touched <laughs> them again. I mean that they are so worn that you can see his feet prints still in the Birkenstocks. Great. They are dirty and have black grime on the side. They even listed them. Here's what they said on the website. They said, the sandals are well used, but still appear intact. The cork and jute footbed retains the imprint of Steve Jobs' feet, which have been shaped over years of use. Oh, my gosh. Yuck. Yeah, right. So th- this is something crazy, and this kind of made me go down a rabbit hole, right? So I was like, what other things have people bought crazy online? So I went back. Back in 2019, a banana was duct taped to a white wall. It was an art piece called The Comedian, and it sold for $120,000. Back in 2019. So I could do that. Paid? Yeah, let's was, do that. Yeah, let's do that. A banana duct taped to a wall. Maybe we could 000. put some of the blueberries. Ooh, yes. yeah. So there you go. Now, in 2018, a rotary phone shaped like a lobster was sold for $1.58 million. Now, you might just think, why, why is that so expensive? Well, it turns out this phone was actually designed by Salvador Dali, the famed um, artist. So it had nothing to do with rock lobster. No, it had nothing to do <laughs> no. with rock lobster. <laughs> Now, this one is the craziest one. I wanted to leave the art world, go back to the crazy stuff. Now, in the year 2000, someone purchased a piece of half-eaten French toast that Justin Timberlake had taken a bite out of (laughs) for over a thousand (laughs) dollars. A okay. half-eaten piece of French toast. Okay, why? T- why? Okay, so they asked the person who bought it, and she said she was going to. <clears throat> She was going to freeze it, put it in a vacuum bag, and leave it in her closet. Those are her exact <laughs> words. Okay. I mean, I have a half-eaten bagel at home. If anybody wants to buy it, <laughs> exactly. we can put it at auction right now. <laughs> yeah, that is, you know, I can't believe that. $200,000. Mm-hmm. For some old sandals. Yeah. Now, were, did they have a certificate of authenticity? They did. They were actually <laughs> pulled out of the trash by his homekeeper back w- before he died. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. That, that was like, what was it, the Britney Spears pregnancy test that she oh. took and they, they took it out of the Beverly Hills Hotel? And it's just, you know, some things are like, you know, just leave them in the trash. Yeah. yeah. Just leave them Sandals, in. toast. Yeah. Pregnancy test. Yes, pregnancy pregnancy test. test. <laughs> exactly. Hey, listen, if you're not already following us on social media, what are you waiting for? Come on already. Instagram.com slash Kim Commando. Twitter.com slash Kim Commando. Hint, we don't have a blue check mark. <laughs> uh, and then facebook.com slash Kim Commando. So wherever you are uh, heading out, you know, hanging out, whatever you're doing on social media, just make sure that you find us and then you follow us. And that'd be really great. All right. Coming up, some early Black Friday deals on Amazon, a joke. And then we also have our favorite holiday movies we're going to tell you about. So stay right where you are. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't. And that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel, and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users, and it has helped save its members an average of $720 a year, with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Hola, me llamo Kim Commando. Yes. 
Uh, that is, uh, yes, I am now speaking Spanish, so you can get the Kim Commando Show in Espanol. That's right, wherever you get your podcasts. If you are a Spanish-speaking native or if you know someone who is and you want them to keep up to date on all things digital, hey, tell them about the Kim Commando Show in Espanol. So wherever you get your podcast, just search for Kim Commando in Espanol, and then you will have our show in Spanish. All right, so, Ali, there are so many places, so many different deal sites Amazon's already cranking out, even though Jeff Bezos said it's going to be a bad year. Don't buy TVs and cars. Don't buy that. I don't know if you saw that this past mm-hmm. week. I did, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, of course, the TVs are on Black Friday sale on Amazon, aren't they? Of course they are. <laughs> yes. Jeff still wants you to buy things. <laughs> yeah. He just yeah. has to make himself feel a little better. Yes. I saw a tweet this morning that he just donated some massive amount of billions of, or millions of dollars to charity. And the caption on it was, he must have been visited by three ghosts. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. So, yes, the Black Friday sales have started. Uh, it's not Black Friday, but they're here. So I picked out a couple of the best ones. We have links to all these and many more sales over on commander.com uh, if you want to shop any of them. So a few that stood out to me, Roombas. This is a good time to buy a yeah. robot vac. If you have, if you don't have one yet, I still don't somehow. Um, I love mine. I know you do. Yeah. The Roomba i3, which is a good vacuum. Normally, it's 350 bucks. Right now, you can get it for 300 oh, oh, 50 bucks yeah. off. Pretty good. An air fryer. Another thing that everyone has mm-hmm. and I don't have. Oh, my. You know what? I use mine all like, the time. I use, I, I mean, I cook salmon in the air fryer. <laughs> I mean. How many times a week do you think you use it? Three. Every day. Do you wow. use it every day? Every single day, yep. Wow. Okay, can I tell you? Okay, so I was on Amazon, and I bought the parchment papers mm-hmm. to put in oh, the air yeah. fryer. Okay. So I thought like, oh, well, you know, the 50 of them were like for $15. That's a last move forever. Well, <laughs> there's a website called Temu, T-E-M-U, T-E-M-U. Okay. I showed it to my friend Nicole last night and she's like, thank you, Kim Commando. This is where I'm going to be wasting all of my money from now on. <laughs> okay. It's like where everything that you can get from China really cheap. Mm. Oh. So like a the, the air paper fryer things? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two dollars and ninety nine cents. <gasps> oh man! Oh my gosh! Yeah. So anyway, um, she found like like a um, I don't know like a air pressure thing for her car, tire pressure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And she said she just paid forty dollars for it. On Timu, it was like twelve dollars. <laughs> yeah. But you're not going to get it like overnight. That's the problem. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. Well, good tip. So the uh, Ninja. That's a they've got great air fryers. Right. People love those ones. The Ninja Max XL, which is a big one, normally one hundred sixty nine dollars. You can get it for one thirty right now. Oh. Good savings. All right. Um, oh, one that I do have and I really love. It's called the Bissell Spin Wave. And it's basically like, think about like a Swiffer, but way better. So it has these little rotating pads on the bottom. And it's kind of like, you know how some vacuums or even like lawnmowers, they're kind of self-propelling. Mm-hmm. It's like that. You barely have to hold on to this thing. Oh, it really? scrubs your floors oh, nice. better than you could with your hands. It's, oh my gosh, it's a lifesaver. Uh, this thing is 50 bucks off right now. And then the Ring Video Doorbell, if you want a video doorbell, normally $99. Right now you can get one for $59. Not bad. Uh, One thing that I have gifted quite a bit. So I have a few people in my life that don't want anything to do with smart speakers with Alexa or some other assistant built in. Uh, JBL makes these really good Bluetooth portable speakers. Um, The quality is really great. These are normally $80. They're on sale right now for $50. That is a really good gift if you have somebody in your life who has a smartphone and doesn't want another assistant to deal with. And then one more, if you need to upgrade uh, the Fire TV stick from Amazon, normally 50 bucks right now, only 25. Wow. That's a great deal. Yeah. And so we have all these all laid out for everybody over at commando.com. There's a big old button. Let me give you a hint. Okay. (laughs) The secret word is shopping, right? (laughs) So if you go to commando.com and hit the shopping button, you're going to get all these deals, right? You sure are. Yep. And we've got handy links. So you click it and then you'll, you'll know you're on the right product. I promise you I'll get my list of my favorite things. I've just been a little busy, but just I will. Bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. So who's on the joke this week? That would be me. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. All right. I'm getting ready to laugh. Boo boo. Well, maybe, maybe curve your expectations. I got more <laughs> dad jokes. <Okay. laughs> I was thinking it's the last podcast before Thanksgiving. You know, why not give everybody things that they can Use around the That's table, true. maybe not to make people laugh, but they will groan a little bit. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> we all love those. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, which side of the turkey has the most feathers? The outside, obviously. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
<laughs> All right. What do you get if you cross a turkey with a ghost? A poultry geist. Oh, Ooh, that was fun. Good. All right. Okay. Uh, what is the best song to sing when preparing your turkey? It's all about that base, about that base, <laughs> roast turkey. <laughs> I like that one. Okay. That's a good one. And Kim's la- going to use that on the I will. I will. I will. Yeah. And the last one is what did the turkey say to the computer? Google, Google, Google. <laughs> Oh my! That one hurt me to say. That, that was one bad. was bad. That, <laughs> that was like bad. that was like what babies say: Google Gaga, mm-hmm. Google Gaga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Write those down. Use them at your Thanksgiving. Send us an email and let us know how they do. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Or if you have some that we should be using, yeah. <laughs> we'd love to have them as well. All right. So holiday movies. Okay. Allie, what's your favorite holiday movie? Strictly holiday movie. I go for the feel goods and I really like Elf. I think Elf mm-hmm. is so funny. It's great every time you watch it. So that's that's definitely mine. How about you, Matt? You know, I really enjoyed the Christmas Carol movies, but I think that I'd have to say my favorite is A Muppet's Christmas Carol. It's just a tradition. <laughs> you got to watch it every year and it's always a good time. All right. My favorite is The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. <laughs> I mean, I think that Jim Carrey is phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, you know, it took him about two and a half hours every day to get into makeup. Oh, my gosh. For that yeah. role. And uh, so, yeah, so we're going to be having the boat parade. And uh, so our boat is going to be The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. So Barry's going to dress up as the Grinch, <laughs> kind of appropriate. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to put Max years oh, yeah. on, Abby, on Abby. So she's going to be at the bow of the boat. Aww. And then I'm trying to find, I, although I think Barry said he found it. You know, the woman in the Grinch Who Stole Christmas who like puts on the lights with the gun on mm-hmm. them in the house. And she wearing like this like red thing with this little thing on and carrying this gun. So that's what I'm going to be on the front of the boat. Like, going, <laughs> are you going to paint Barry green? I think we should. I think, I you, think should. you should. I think we absolutely should. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is where we have to say goodbye, but it's never goodbye for long because we always have more podcasts to listen to. And there's always the content at commando.com. And I would be ris- remiss in not saying that if you're not getting our free daily newsletters, pff, come on, folks. What are you waiting for? They are phenomenal. Commando.com slash subscribe. We're not going to sell, lease, distribute your email address anyway, so don't worry about that. If we don't talk to you, have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll see you right back here with Game Commandos today and Tech Refresh. And Allie and Matt, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.